Well, hello to all of our goal participants. I'm Fiona Lang Sharp, IBCLC and Director of Communications and MC for Gold Learning. Well, welcome to all of you listening in again. I hope that you've had an opportunity to listen to Kathy's other interview. That's right, she's got two up here. Uh, so make sure you listen to both of them as she is going to be presenting twice for us at Gold Lactation. 2019. Very excited to, again to have you here today, Kathy. Thank you for joining me. Oh, thanks for having me. And some really great topics today. It's just been fabulous. Positioning and latch for breastfeeding, which was your other presentation and topic. And now we have this one, using breastfeeding supplementers, which uh, for a, a long time, I sort of shied away from, and, and of course now it's you know second nature. But there is some real trick to it, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, some skills and those types of things. And I'm sure you're going to be sharing lots of those things with us in our full presentation. But first of all, I just like to invite you to uh, share what you're hoping that we'll take away from this presentation. Okay, you're right, Fiona. Supplementers are a little bit intimidating, especially for for new moms. So, uh, understanding some of the nuances of the different devices, understanding which ones might be easier for moms, and um, which ones are best for s specific situations. I'm I'm hoping that we can talk about those things. Uh, something else that um, we've been learning in our research is that breast and bottle feeding, the tongue movements are different. So using a supplementer can allow us to avoid bottles and give the baby more time to practice the breastfeeding related tongue movements and um, rather than having to learn two different things when they're struggling with feeding. It's so interesting. I, I'm always fascinated uh, when I hear you talk more about your research and what we've learned over the years looking at ultrasound and those types of things because it realistically it just feels like it took us so long to get here, Kathy, where we were using ultrasound, but it's really improved things so much as far as our learning of how the tongue behaves and all the action behind what's happening in the mouth and right into the oral cavity. Isn't that, it, it's true, right? That's, it's just really improved things. Oh, it, it certainly has, and we've mostly been looking at only one view. So what we're seeing is the mid tongue. If we if we have a nice, if we have the transducer right in midline, gotcha. um, but we can look through the cheek as well. And I'm just starting to play with doing that. I'm not good at it yet, but right. um, you can see other views and see more how the groove tongue and the cheeks interact and. Um, so we're we're still in our infancy, in, even in using ultrasound. But the little bit we have learned has just made such a difference in our practice. Yeah, I'm so grateful for that. And of course, your research being so important to our field right now. So you know, you keep <laughs> keep up that good work, Kathy. I know how busy you can be, but I know that you love that research, and you are always so willing to share it with us. So thank you so much for that. Oh, it's 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 just such fun, and and again, you know, we're just building on the work of so many others. Uh, you know, we each have our our own little piece of 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 the pie, and it's just so lovely to be able to make a contribution. Well, thank you. That's awesome. Hey, I I wanted to ask you what's coming up for you this year. What's what's what plans are in the works? What's the inside scoop? Because I know you're always. Generally, you're traveling a fair amount still to conferences and events and such. So what's coming up this year for you? Well, my uh, my next trip after LC and PP in Philadelphia is to Taipei, Taiwan. So oh, I'm wow. really looking forward to that. It'll be my first time in Taiwan, and I'm going to be doing four days of uh, presentations and uh, hands-on workshops as well. So that's oh, going to be goodness. a lot of fun. Oh my goodness, that that is that's going to be a lot of work as well. That's amazing. Oh yeah, what a, what a great opportunity um, too. That you know you're able. We're we're able because I mean it's you know even getting around the world has over the years gotten easier and so forth and so on. And it's great that the interest is internationally abound. You know, babies are babies no matter where they're born. Um, and so helping uh, families uh, improve things is something that we love to do. There's no doubt about it. 
Oh, and you're so right. And, you know, the challenges are the same everywhere in the world I've been. And I've been privileged to be on like four different continents. And everywhere I've been, the challenges are the same. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, we were talking earlier. I was talking to Alexandra Glass, and she's from Germany, and just asking what life looks like there for her and how they support families and what happens. And we said the same thing. Babies are babies and families are families, you know. And, uh, you know, we're in a privileged, uh, you know, position as a, you know, job because – There'll always be babies who are born. I feel like I'm never going to run out of work, mm -hmm. you know, which, which is really lovely as well. But uh, And just improving things is really one of the key that, that's always on our minds, I think. We want to do better and we want to make it better for those that are coming up behind us, right? Oh, amen. And in my 26 years, things have gotten better. The initiation yeah. has gotten better. The care mothers get in the hospital has gotten better. So... Um, I am really encouraged for what the future holds for our profession. Oh, me too, Kathy. I, I'm just excited that the demand from the families, from the consumer, as I call them, is, you know, it, the connections that they make today and the questions they're asking, they're really putting us on our toes, I think, which is great, you know, and uh, it pushes us to do better uh, wherever we are, which is, is just awesome, too. So kudos to the families that are reaching out because you hear grandmothers and and, and fathers and mothers all asking questions and being quite demanding. How does this work? Why does that happen? And so I, I think that's just brilliant. You know, it's just lovely to hear that. Oh, absolutely. And I love to, I love to teach, so I love to answer those questions. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Well, that's great. Well, it's exciting to hear about your big trip coming up and, and of course, LCPP conference as well coming up in March, which is fabulous. So mm -hmm. I will I will look forward to hearing more about your travels the next time we speak. But for now, we're going to wrap things up and uh, let you go and just uh, tell our audience who's listening in just to check into our website. Once again, it's really easy, goldlactation.com. That will give you all the registration details for the full conference as well as having the opportunity to listen to Catherine Watson-Jenner, she's going to be on both of our add-on packages here at the conference 2019. Join us for our opening keynote, April 1st. Uh, that's a freebie. You can come and join us from anywhere in the world and uh, listen into that fabulous education with, with uh, Kathleen Kendall Tackett. We'll look forward to having you there on that day, too. Well, thank you again to Kathy for joining me and sitting down and chatting. And, of course, to you, our listening audience. Bye-bye for now.